Hi guys, so I wanted to show you today how I'm making a fitted diaper. Now I want to first of all um, warn you that I'm not a sewer. My husband bought me a sewing machine a little while ago, um, one that I found that I really wanted. But I'm not a sewer, so I'm kind of self-teaching, if you can call it that. This is my pattern made out of Christmas paper because that actually works the best. It's easy to pin, but yes, yeah, so that's what my fabric is looking like. It's 100% flannel. Um, I went to the fabric store and I just picked some up. It's really, really soft. Now my first one that I did, as you can tell, I have a little bit of excess right there because the first one that I made was this one. As you can tell, the wings are a little bit shorter. So it was kind of a learn learning experience. Now, like I said, I'm not a sewer. My first one was not the most beautiful thing that you have ever seen. Not even close. But it was functional, which was amazingly exciting for me. Um, the fact, I can't actually show it to you at this very moment because it's in my diaper pail. And I'm not going to pull, pull out a poopy diaper, but it works. I've put Velcro on it, um, elastic, and my daughter can wear it. And she wore it for about three hours today. I don't really like to keep her in a diaper any longer than that. Um, because then I worry about her getting a diaper rash. But she wore it three hours. She pooped and peed in it, and it worked. There was no leaks. Obviously, you put a cover. I was really excited, so I went and got me some really cute, a really cute pattern, and I love ducks. I'm, I've always been obsessed with ducks, so I just thought this would be really cute. But I want to show you how it's going to kind of turn out. Um, now, I've been using Prefold. Um, I know it hurt, it hurt me to cut into my Prefold, but it needed to be done. But it's fairly absorbent. This is part of the center. Eight layers. So this is the center part. You can always, if you do not have pre-folds. Okay, now I'm going to use this to show you kind of, if you do not have a pre-fold, you can use a wash rag. Now I didn't have one of my regular wash rags, so I'm using just my decorative one. But, um, so yes, you'd fold it into threes. So the first thing you want to do is... I pinned down my pattern. So whatever pattern, whether you take one online or make your own. I actually made this from, I had a diaper cover. Um, this was a flip diaper, diaper cover actually. Pin your pattern down onto your fabric, which I've already done. And then cut around it. I cut, I went a little excess so that my tabs are a little longer because since I use Velcro, I also make laundry tabs. And you just want it to be more secure around the middle. So yes, now once you've got it cut out, you can go ahead and unpin it. Okay, so we've got our fabric cut out, unpinned. We've got the two sides. Now what you want to do is take your first side. You want to decide where you want your absorbent pad to be, whether it's your a prefold or wash rag or whatever it is that you end up using, scraps. You want to decide, decide exactly where it is and you want to either pin it down or mark it. Go ahead and do that and then sew it through and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay guys, so we've got it sewn. We've got the soaker pad sewn in. Now I want to show you something to show you that anybody can do this and I mean any, if I can do it Anybody can, because I know I used to be scared watching some YouTube videos, it's like that looks really complicated. Now, you may be able to tell a little, my stitching is not straight. <laughs> so, I mean, like I said, it does not have to be perfect. So on to the next step, you want to sew these two sides together. So yeah, I don't have that straight, all the way straight, um, doing it with one hand is not easy, but you get the drift. Um, they need to be sewn all the way together. Now, so all the way through, leave the one side, leave the down flap 
unsewn so I would stop about here enough to where you are going to be able to flip it okay so now we've got the we've got it sewn in we've, except for like I said you want to leave the front back however you want to look at this um, but you want to leave it open so I mean you can tell this isn't professionally I mean it works it's gonna hold through now obviously if you're making these to turn out to sell yeah you probably want your stitching to look a little bit more professional than mine does now the next step the next thing you want to do okay now the next thing you want to do is put your elastic on. Now you need to decide. <laughs> now once again, I'll show you what I mean by you do not have to be a professional to do this. Can you tell these aren't even? Because I made my own pattern and I never completely made sure. So like I said, they're not completely even. That's fine. It'll work. Now what you want to do is you want to take your elastic. Just some Walmart elastic that I picked up. So what you want to do is you want to figure out about where you want it. I always start kind of where you see the bend. I always start about there. So what you want to do is you want to pin it down. Word of advice, when you are sewing elastic, if you've never sewn elastic before, what you want to do is, as you're feeding it through your machine, what you want to do is just don't stretch your fabric. Don't stretch your actual fabric. Just pull back on your elastic and feed it through. You want your elastic as tight as possible without stretching your, your material. Anyways guys, so go ahead and do your stitching. I'm going to do the stitching on both legs and I'm going to do the stitching on the back because I personally like elastic in the back. Um, it helps prevent blowouts. Alright guys, so we've got it sewn. We did the elastic, but you can tell. So, the stitching doesn't look too, too absolutely bad. From bend to bend on both sides. And very, very close to the edge because I'm going to make a casing for it, which I'll show you here in a second and then the back. Okay, now the next step is you want to turn this inside out. Okay, so now that we've got it all pulled out, as you can tell, which it looks kind of funny this way right now, look like bunny ears, but now once we've got it all pulled out, what you want to do is go ahead and sew this shut. Okay, so we've sewn it shut. Now you can do this the good way and actually fold it down to where you don't have these little rough edges or you can do it the lazy way like I did because I'm kind of in a rush my daughter is about to decide she no longer wants me to sew for the night so I just hurried up and closed it up what you want to do is do a straight stitch all the way around now when you get to where your elastic is what you want to do is you want to find it first and do not sew over it. Sew underneath it. And then go back through. So you basically are going to create a casing. And do that with all of it. Okay guys, so we've I've gone ahead and stitched all the way around. The big way to tell is it just flattens all of it. So it sits flatter. Um, as you can tell, I did a casing through without, without sewing on now I do want to show you, um, and the reason why I show you my mistakes that I make is to show you just how easy it actually is to make something like this. And I'm not lying when I say that I'm just not very good at this. As you can tell, it's not, you may not be able to tell with the lighting, but it's not straight. And this is not a straight stitch, I made a mistake. But I like kind of how it looked, so I kept it that way. But see, it's kind of jagged. Um, but I didn't sew through the elastic, which is really all I cared about. But yeah, 
So now that we're finished with this, um, you can either just call it a day and use a snappy like this, but you have your elastic, or you can put Velcro, which is what I'm going to do. Um, you don't need expensive Velcro. Okay, I've got Walmart Velcro. I've got Walmart Velcro. Okay guys, so this is what you want to do with your Velcro. Now we've got the finished part. You're going to figure out which side is you know your outside which is your inside um, where I've got where I've got my stitching that's gonna be the inside that's where her butt's gonna rest so yes um, now we're gonna what we're gonna go ahead and do is when you figure that out then you're gonna figure out exactly where to put the velcro we're gonna have the velcro on this side so that when you pull it up that's what it's gonna look like so you have the velcro on the underside the side that does not have the stitching going to have the long piece of soft velcro and now on this side you're going to have both your sticky and your soft side depending on whether you want laundry tabs so here's your sticky you want that at the edge followed by your soft look at my sewing buddy she decided she no longer wanted to wait in the living room for me and I've got another one who's kinda nervous sewing machines make her nervous but anyways alright guys so I am finished 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 um, this has taken me about two hours to complete but I have had to stop like every ten minutes to go tend on a fussy two and a half month old but yes as you can tell I have sewn in the tabs not perfect just a couple gaps so now I did make one change um, I added a tab in the back. There we go. So that's what that's what the other tab is for. You know, if you're trying to put it on and you realize, you know, that's not going to work, you've got the extra right there on the tab. So that is our fitted That's our fitted diaper. Um this literally the fabric cost me, it was about $5 a yard, so I spent, eh, I'd say I, I spent $9 there, but I had to get some thread. So really, it was about $5, and I still have plenty left over where I can make at least one more, if not two. So I think for $5, that is not a bad deal. Let me show you what it looks like on my daughter. And here is the finished product. So... We've got the elastic over here on the leggings all the way around. It's a t nice tight fit. Say, oh, mama. Look at that. Look at that. Say, oh, goodness. But, yep, that. Of course, you know, with this being a fitted, you do need a cover, which is kind of a shame to cover that really, really cute print. But, yes, so, I mean, that's what it looks like. It was easy and it's fast and you know what it's easier sometimes than prefolds not that prefolds are hard but all in all so anyways guys want to say bye bye so anyways guys if you have any questions just drop me a comment so until next time bye